Jada Pinkett Smith has shown time and time again that she is out of her mind. It's been a couple months since she took the summer off of ball breaking, and now she's like, all right, fall's here. How can I ruin Will Smith's life again? A new report indicates that Jada is not happy about Will Smith's latest celebrity friendship with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, Will probably said, hey, yo, I heard you got somebody in your bed. It's not cool. I got a crazy and you let's just change crazy stories with no food and so she has a lot of trauma and this is this whole idea of you having a, a brackish chick a chick who is accustomed to this kind of toxicity and is always looking for more trauma so what tank. you're saying when it when it comes to toxic people they function better in a toxic environment because well, that what, is what they're, what they're accustomed norm is. to right so it's, if there isn't a toxicity they create a toxic environment exactly. to make themselves feel more comfortable I'm alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. A new report indicates that Jada is not happy about Will Smith's latest celebrity friendship and has caused some trouble in their relationship. A source revealed to In Touch Weekly that Will rekindled his friendship with Johnny Depp early this year when the pair were spotted hanging out in the south of France. Johnny has been taking Will on boys' nights out and getting him involved in his rock band. For Jada, it's pretty upsetting because she feels as though he's running off living a single life and rubbing it in her face, the insider added. Um, mm. This is a woman, let's not forget, the last we saw Jada Pinkett Smith, she was on the Today Show and did that absurd interview where she had talked about how she didn't understand why Will was mad because they had been living single lives since 2016 right yeah yeah they had been separated since 2016 yeah uh and then when they called her out on it she said no we're not separated because the the backlash was so atrocious against her yeah. that she had to go back on the today show and said no no we're not we're not apart even though she said we are apart in the interview um she made it seem like the interviewers were crazy and said no we're still trying to work things out or navigate what our relationship looks like so it's all over the place because she's out of her mind yeah and now she's breaking will's balls because now, why, why would they why would they why would they broke up did i, I think she, I, there was she might have slept with Jaden. Jaden's friend she was she well, was she, smacking. She, she was had smashing an Jaden's with uh, her son's best friend with August, uh, yeah, Will's best in friend the house. in the house. But uh, they were trying to define what the relationship was. My bad. Okay, I just wanted to get up to snuff. My bad. But this shows you that once you deal with a crazy person, they're always going to be crazy. They're oh, always yeah. going to be unstable. This is about her not wanting Will to be happy. <laughs> That's flat out what this is. Yeah. She doesn't care how she embarrasses him on these shows. And this is why we talk about you have to put your happiness first because if you don't, she won't. Yeah. Flat out. She doesn't want to see him happy. She's she's He's having a good time with uh, with Johnny Depp. Whatever it is, you guys are supposedly separated or you're living separate lives. It really is none of your business. But she's upset because he's living a single life and rubbing it in her and, face. And let's be honest, Johnny Depp, he just went through, he was, Mike, Will probably said, hey, yo, yo. I heard you got somebody shitted in your bed. It's not cool. Um, let's go hang out in France. Yeah. Because, I mean, I got a crazy bitch, and you got somebody crazy bitch shitted in your bed. Let's exchange, let's exchange crazy bitch stories, you know? Let's go out there. Let's get on a yacht. Let's do it over rock. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith's mother was a heroin addict, right? Uh, raised her was very laissez-faire was unavailable to her her mom her mom was out there she was in them streets and so to a certain extent you get where this trauma comes from Jada Jada's out of her mind because of of and I'm gonna go at this harder than you know like you know not not making excuses because at some point in time you have to take responsibility for your life and how you move your life forward. So there's that. But I'm also going to say that her mom was straight heroin in the streets. You know, she was digging her mom out the streets lots of times, you know, a home with no food. And so she has a lot of trauma. Um, not, to say that is to say, I understand where the pain comes from, but at some point in time, you have to, you have to, to take responsibility for who you are as a person. 
Because if you don't, trust me, you're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. And the people around you are going to be miserable for the rest of your life. What's insane about this, all of this stuff that goes on, that's going on, why is Will still with her? So we also can't let Will off the hook for the fact that he stayed. And after continues this to Cro stay. Chris Rock thing, after the book, after everything, after she, he stayed. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no. I mean, it's just, he, and he continues to stay with her. They're still technically, they're still married. They're still legally yeah. married. They're still, the what their relationship status is, is very murky. Nobody understands it. Nobody knows fully what it is because he never says anything. She just yeah. comes out and says whatever she wants. Right. And you're right. He allows it. He perpetuates it. He perpetuates this type of insane behavior when he could and should move on with his life. Yeah. But he doesn't. When it, at, well, at some point in, that time, point in time, that has to, you know, it's one thing if you look, if we want to make, we want to make Will uh, the victim of this, we might have been able to do that, you know, post Chris Rock smack. Even before that, maybe the 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 uh, the August when she slept maybe with the August. August thing, but even the August thing. I mean, you know, it was rumored that Will was doing his thing too. But after this, after she went on the media blitz to sell her book and just went out with the sole purpose of just emasculating him and uh, you know trying to destroy him. Which I mean, it, I'm no judge about it. I don't know what was going on in their home, but. When somebody takes that posture to have you destroyed like that, and and trust me, I, I guarantee you, what that whole thing absolutely messed up Will's money to a certain extent. You, you don't the Chris see Rock him. Thing? The, it has changed his whole dynamic. Oh, it took it took him down massively. People didn't want yeah. a lot of people don't want to hire him, right? Because his reputation is negative. It doesn't look good. He doesn't. He also just doesn't look like a leading man anymore. Because he and, looks like a coward. Be honest, let's let's be honest. You know, I mean, he he is a a black man that had reached the pinnacle of of maybe one of the biggest, at least one of the biggest film stars in the game, and uh, you know, like there's no room for you to come back after that. There's, there's no there's, room for error. Yeah, there's no room for error. Mm -hmm. But you also could have. You could have got this divorce. You could have did put put you separated. The kids are. It's not like the kids are kids. The kids are grown, and then you could go do what you want to do. And then if you want to go to you want to go to Saint Tropez, you want to go to France with Johnny Depp, you want to go to Diddy parties. I mean, as long as it's of age, people are of age. You could do that. The problem is that you know, uh, it, it's weird how people have this standard. I mean, he he said he always said once we're married, it's forever. We going See, no, it, because he didn't want it to be, you know, he talks about how he didn't want it, his parents broke up and he didn't want he he never he, he was like marriage is forever. He got and divorced this, once, didn't this, he? Huh? He's, he, he had a previous marriage and a divorce. Who did? Uh, we, Will. Well, yeah. But yeah. this this one, when, when he said with Jada, he said, once we once we do this, this is going to be forever. You know, Why? this is going to be forever. Why? See, this I, I is the know. problem. People I don't know. Put I, these... I, I think sometimes people put this. It, 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 you have to, you know. I, one of the things that I say, you always, you gotta pay for the house what it was appraised at at the time when you're buying it, not, not what it's gonna be worth ten years from now, or what, not it, was what it was worth, worth ten years yeah. ago. And I think he has this unrealistic idea about. What at least what this marriage was, at least maybe he thought that they were going to be a power couple or whatever. And I mean, you know, clearly she talks about it all the time. And she's married. You know, she, she was always in love with Tupac. I mean, her daughter had a letter when she was a little girl. Talking That's about, another please. thing that she revealed that didn't need to be made public. What's like that, oh, that, about Tupac? How much that Tupac was her, she referred to Tupac as her soulmate. You're married to somebody. You're referring to somebody else as your soulmate. What are you doing? And you're married to him. Like, why Why would you do that? Why would you? But this is this is a way to emasculate him. You know, it's for the sole purpose of emasculating him. If you love what we're doing here, go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us. 
and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. Um, but at some point in time, where does Will Smith take the responsibility for staying with this wretched woman? Or even if she's not a wretched woman, somebody who is, or when is he in a situation where he doesn't demand that there be some level of uh, of accountability, some level of 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 of, of uh, counseling or therapy or something to move forward? But what they're literally doing is you went right back into this situation, and this is, and this will happen for the rest of his life. Or at least until they get too old that they won't care. No, won't she'll, always, she'll always be crazy to the very yeah. end. The craziness doesn't go away. It only, it's only going to get worse. Yeah, you do get tired, though. You get... Nah, man. <laughs> you get tired to physically be crazy. But yeah, verbally, yeah. you could still be crazy. I've seen women do it. Listen, my mom is what? She's in her 70s now. She's, she's still, still crazy. She's still she's... one of the all-time crazy. She's not like wild for the <laughs> night anymore, but she's still wild during the afternoon. She's <laughs> nuts. My mom is nuts. Yeah, yeah. It don't it don't I mean, it doesn't get better. But where's the accountability? You know, it's on I mean, him. It's his fault. I, it, yeah, where's the accountability with Will that this is a problem? What and is the biggest lesson that guys can learn from this that you know from the man's I, I think perspective? you know, I hate to put it as to oversimplify it, but I think the previous thing is to be honest. It's not just being honest um with everybody else and how you deal with people, but it's also being honest with yourself. Anybody that can't look at that relationship and how much water was under the ridge, that if they can't make if they if they weren't going to make a decision to to make a change and they couldn't. And even if they decided to make a change and it started to it started to lead bleed back into the old ways again, then you 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 pack it up, you 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 pack, you pack it up, you kiss people on the forehead and you go, man, and we had some great times, but it's, it's really this is way too toxic for us to do this. And I think what, what you'll have over and over again is men will will romanticize this thing that was before and and it doesn't even exist in terms of what it is now. And then you're you're you're, you're going down this road again where you this is the same thing again why is this even public why does she care why does it i mean i, I mean and here's the other thing she can put in for a divorce too she can go if he's if he doesn't make her happy and she wants to run the street she wants to be for the streets she could be for the streets she could do it too she doesn't I'm want not. to do that because without will smith she really is nothing she's genuinely nothing she's always been will smith's plus one her career was elevated to yeah. a high level of royalty because she was they were an A-list couple, but she was never A-list. You're right, because if she's not Will Smith with Will Smith from money went. But I mean that and even it's just selfishness. With Will, whatever it is, it's selfishness. It, even it's, now it's just though, but even now the fact that she's still with Will Smith still doesn't elevate her anymore because we go, Oh, that everybody the perception is all oh, that witch. Yeah, you know? but but if she's away, see now she can still maintain the facade and lie and say no, no, we're a happy family. It's gonna yeah. be worse when she's not will. She's not a Smith anymore. It's gonna be worse because it's gonna look like everyone's gonna call her crazy, but she can't deny that that sh she ruined that marriage. Now yeah. it'll be she ruined the marriage. It's not even. It's not that it's better. It just could get worse. Yeah. But you're also thinking about it logically. She just wants to have her cake and eat it too. That's it. That's well, all. Also, when you you know she's accustomed, she's definitely accustomed through her own admission on her red table to, about how how traumatic her life was with her mother, and this is this whole idea of you having a brackish a brackish chick a chick who is accustomed to this kind of toxicity, this kind of upheaval, and this this the, the trauma, and is always looking for more trauma, and so when things smooth out, it they panic because it, it's it, they don't feel they need to create. Trauma. Go so ahead. I want you to really slow down for people who've never heard that analogy before. You're kind of like going because we've talked about it before. But the yeah. idea that you're talking about with the brackish fish are there fish that are that live in like a dirty water, a dirty so type a, of there's climate. A, there's brackish fish is like an African cichlids. They come from a lake in Tanzania. And in that lake is bacteria. It's all of the villages around. They drink out of it. They, the, 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 uh, if you pick those fish and you put them in clear water, clean water, 
the fish will die because they're so accustomed to the toxicity, the 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 the, the high pH level, the salt, the brine, the bacteria. So you ha you have to spend days. If you buy these fish, you have to cultivate a bacteria in the water for days before you can even let so the what, fish swim in. The so tank. what you're saying when it comes to toxic women or toxic people in general, we don't have to limit yeah. it to women. When it comes to toxic people. They function better in a toxic environment because well, that what, is what they're, what they're accustomed to. Right. So it's, they can't function in a normal environment. So they, if they, if there isn't a toxicity, they create a toxic environment exactly. to make themselves feel more comfortable and accustomed. Exactly. So it's they're on their playing field. Yeah. yeah. And that's the and you'll insanity. Find that, and they'll repeat that those same archetypes that created to the toxicity, they will find people to replace that so that the toxicity is done. Look, Dante, Will Smith could have avoided all of this if he had just been willing to reach out for a consultation from you or myself. All he had to do was email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com and I could have given him life advice. Or Dante, he could have gone to dantenero.com and click on consult and you could have helped him. That's all he had to do. The, you, and what would you have said to Will Smith the second he, he goes there? Will. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> a lot of your advice is run for some run, of the people, for run. some of these people. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.